when you started in biathlon, did you ever have any big dreams, or were they all small dreams at that stage? Uh, no, it was it was not a big dream to win uh, gold in the world championship or something. It was more like, oh, it would be nice to be in the national team. <laughs> was it a big goal to do traveling at that point? Uh, yes, it was. It was exciting every time you had to go away from Sweden. <laughs> 2007, that mixed relay, first big title. Yes. What do you remember about that, other than Wolfie crying? <laughs> uh, I don't remember so much, but it was an awesome day, and we had, uh, uh, it was perfect. I was really, really nervous, because I knew that the other three were really good. So I had to do my really best and not uh, spoil for the team. So what was the reaction at home after that? Um, uh, it was big. A lot of people were really happy and it was a lot of celebrations and so. So we jump ahead a little bit and you won that silver medal in Pyeongchang. I know that's pretty special. Is that, is that a family memory that you'll always hang on to? Yes, I think so, that we have a medal together, me and David. It's, uh, it's pretty cool. Not many couple that has that. So 2009? Oh, I never expected that and I, I didn't even dream about it because it's, uh, it feels like so far away. So what was that like? Because there was this kind of momentum that built up over the season. Did that make it easier or harder? Um, I think it made it easier because I was climbing up and up the whole season and uh, I never really thought that I would win. Did your life change when you suddenly became a star? No, not that much. Uh, of course, it's a lot of more media and people are talking a lot. And but my my life at home and so it's oh, not changed. You're pretty good at separating home life from this life. Yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> ah, of course, we discuss biathlon at home. <laughs> Happiest day of your life? Oh, it was my marriage. That's what I was yes. <laughs> It was just the whole day was so perfect, uh, the weather was good and all our friends and family were there and everybody was happy and it was a hell of a party in the, in the night. <laughs> so was this retirement thing a big secret plan that you've been holding back? <laughs> yes, a little bit. I have been feeling uh, last year also that maybe I do only one more year because I really want to do the World Championship in rope holding. And I have been feeling the whole season that, no, not two more years. <laughs> I don't have the motivation for all the hard training that, that, that I know I need to do to be in. And I don't want to go out to the competition and be number 20. So here you have a job waiting for you. Can you tell us about that? Yes, uh, it's an economy job that I will probably start after the summer. Uh, I have been, uh, I was hired, uh, I think, three, two or three years ago, but uh, they said that, yeah, you have your contract but, and you can start whenever you want to, so it's perfect. I hope it's going to be nice and then I find, find the new goals to work with and yeah, of course I would miss biathlon. But. So other than a job, what else is on the uh, at home agenda? Uh, of course, um, building a house right now will start and I have heard that that's a big project. <laughs> <laughs> I have really started to realize it's a big project. and. Hopefully in the future, get some kids and so. So after the Swedish Championships, you're going to put your rifle away? Yes, I will. And then you're going to have a day that's no more training. What are you going to do that day? I don't know. I think it will be, it will be really strange when the other, my teammates will start to, to go training in the beginning of May and I'm not, oh, not me. <laughs> Speaking about that training, would you be here without Wolfgang Pickler? No, never. I never thought that you could train that hard that he made me do, and of course without him, I, no, I wouldn't be here. Every year you were thinking, it cannot be harder, but the next year it was harder. <laughs> Another surprise. Yeah. <laughs> so if we look into the crystal ball, five years, television commentary? A cooking show? <laughs> Not a cooking show, at least. <laughs> Um, I don't know, I hope I can get maybe some job at TV like Magdalena Forsberg when she wants to retire from that, maybe I can take her place. Maybe doing a travel show? No, no. I think I would enjoy staying at home. Okay. 
the Swedish archipelago or the Mexican Riviera? Uh, the Swedish. Yep. David's cooking or you're cooking? Definitely David's cooking. <laughs> good movie or good book? Good book. Ostersund or Antols? Ostersund. With or without makeup? Uh, with. Thanks. <laughs> and good luck on your retirement. Thank you. <laughs> I told you. Yeah. <laughs>